Good morning, 47. Your target is Cody Haynes, obsessive art collector currently in the process of procuring the complete oeuvre of Cecil Bardu. Haynes went underground six years ago to escape his wife's family after embezzling their fast food empire to pay for his art habit. Freed from all social ties, his collecting took a turn to a dark extreme. Intel shows that he not only needs to possess the artworks, but that he cannot accept any previous owners being left alive. Our client, the gallerist who originally sold the artworks of Cecil Bardu, is worried the killings will taint his business. Furthermore, he owns one of the paintings in his private collection, putting his name on Haynes' kill list. Your target's insatiable need to possess is leaving a bloody trail, and he must be stopped. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is currently at Thornbridge Manor to steal a painting by Cecil Bardu. It turns out he's quite the master of disguise. He's pretending to be a wildlife inspector and is equipped with a fake court order to search the premises for a stolen ghost orchid. The client has informed me there will be a bonus if you manage to procure the painting too. Good luck. They call all of you in today. I've never seen so many gardeners here at the same time. I think so. A funeral is a big event. A lot of important people will be here. Hotel booked. Car packed. All ready to go when I got my call. Her wife had tears in her eyes. But you don't say no to Madame Carlyle. Maybe someone should. This whole fake funeral tomorrow is taking it a bit far. I'm glad I'm not one of her kids. They have to pretend their mother is dead in front of a lot of people. I thought you were kidding. Did you get the Fitzpatrick token, the medical law door? Rebecca? Yeah. That's true, though. No, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle was repaired. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here. That is Cody Haynes, obsessive collector and master of disguise. Oh my, you're taking this hard, aren't you?
I've thoroughly searched the area, and as I explained on arrival, this is not where a thief would keep a ghost orchid. I insist we move inside. I think you missed a few spots. I don't need to remind you of the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981. Or my court order, do I? No? Okay. I'd like to have a look inside the manor. Now. That's Cody Haynes taken care of. If you want to find the painting, this is the time. Then find an exit. I'll transfer the money to your account. Good. You got the painting too. Now head for an exit.
security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be a first for me. She's a great woman. Tough, strong, intelligent. You can really admire her. Sure, but you must admit we all Her family has to pretend she's really dead. And all the attendees will think she is. And from the looks of it, I doubt that the Undertaker would keep his temper under control. He didn't know it was all fake, and now he's having a meltdown.